I know, I know, another Notion video. Sue me, it's just that good. Hey everybody, my name is Micah Gonzalez, that's M-I-C-A Gonzalez with a Z. I'm back with yet another Notion video, this time about five different ways that I use the Notion relational property in my Notion space where I manage all my content and everything in my business. For those new to Notion, you might wanna check out my Notion tour that shows you just what Notion is and how I use Notion as a whole, or you can check out my other video, which is about the productivity apps that Notion has replaced in my own workspace so that you can get an idea of just how well Notion can work for you. Also, just as a reminder, be sure to hit like, subscribe, let me know that you wanna see more Notion content and productivity app content because I also talk a lot about productivity, content creation, creativity, even entrepreneurship, yes. So if you are into those topics and you find this video useful, be sure to hit subscribe so you never miss a video. So, how I use Notion relational properties. Let's get into it. First, I use it to manage subtasks or related tasks that follow one another. Something that I have been hoping to have with a different to-do list app or project management apps is the ability to have this if this then that kind of automated effect as possible. And while you can't really do it with a lot of apps, the closest thing that I have been able to do was using a parent-child relational property. Now, this actually helps me keep my to-do list planner, which I view in a master calendar form. It just keeps everything clutter-free and it just has another benefit in that I don't need to move down too many sub items if ever the main or the preceding item gets moved down my planner or calendar because, hey, things happen, I get sick, things have to get moved and stuff like that. So I just never have to worry about that anymore. Number two, I link tasks and content to specific projects. Before Notion, I used to keep projects in separate workspaces. You know, I thought this was the best way to keep projects separate because, um, you know, if there were related sounding tasks, at least I knew, hey, this, you know, went to this project. But then I quickly got tired of that because I wanted to manage my projects all at a glance. Notion, luckily, lets me do that and I can easily just take a note of which projects each of these tasks belong to in one space. And when I click on the task, I can just see immediately what project it is that I should be looking at. So that's been really handy. And as you might guess, these tasks also appear on my to-dos planner, also via a relation property, and just filtered out with a specific view. I like having all of these linked together because no matter where I am on Notion, whether I am viewing this from my projects page or if I'm viewing them from my to-dos planner as tasks, I can easily add new tasks under a project or just assign a new task to a project and I know that it will be populated into my project space instantly. The third way that I use this feature is linking content to tasks associated with that content. So one thing that I used to struggle with in the past was sometimes I would forget about the tasks associated with the content that's on my calendar. So I had this entire content calendar laid out, but then I would completely forget to work on it because it wasn't on my to-do list or I constantly had to check back and forth my content calendar, my to-dos calendar. It was just really exhausting. With Notion, however, I have what I call a master calendar. I say that a lot. And that's really where all my tasks and content live in one space. And I will just sift through different views, different filters to make things easier to look at and a glance back through no matter what it is I'm trying to look at. And so to make sure that my content is actually getting made, I have a relational property called task on planner just to make sure that every content piece has a task associated to it. This helps me make sure that it is on my to-do list and I never check my content calendar to constantly refresh myself about when things should be moving and sh when should it be published. And I can just stay on top of my content calendar while managing the rest of my to-dos for my business and my blog. Another way that I like to use this is to link my clients to specific products. And also, this is how I move them down specific programs and phases. And okay, I don't have a public friendly Notion page to show because this is very private information, but what I do is I keep clients in a database that has a relational property uh, that links them to a program of mine that they are a part of. And this is the space where I manage them through different phases of the programs because, you know, people start on different times. And this is also where I can note down any to-dos associated with this phase of the program, what I might have to do, what I might have to keep on top of. So that's just been really helpful. And I love that the relational property of Notion makes it so easy to manage that way. Again, I'm sorry, I don't have anything to show you, but if this is something that you want to see, maybe let me know so I can work on creating a public friendly version to show you guys with a bunch of dummy content, but just letting you know that I also just use this property, this feature um, for my clients 
and my projects, just making sure that they are talking to one another and I can stay on top of all of that. And finally, I use this to house a specific list view of my content ideas to my content planner. So my blog ideas and video ideas especially, I like to keep a linked database of like my brain dump list within my main content calendar so that the ideas are just within easy reach and I can easily drag and drop items within the brain dump, brain dump calendar and to my master calendar. And remember, my master calendar contains content pieces when I want to publish them and also the tasks associated to these things. So it just has been really helpful to have everything all in one space and linking the databases um, on this space has been really helpful to me as well. And that has just helped me just keep on top of content and tasks and making sure that there are things happening. And if I don't have an idea, I at least have a brain dump list of things to choose from for what to do next. So this is something that I revisit each month, but depending on how inspired I am, I might just add new content straight to the content calendar, but it does help me to still have a linked database of my ideas in the same space anyway, so I don't have to switch back and forth between brain dump and content calendar or having to switch between, again, content calendar and task calendar. Everything is just in one space. And again, that's all thanks to Notion's relational property. So those are five ways that I use Notion's relational property feature. Let me know if you use it in the same way, if we have any similarities, or maybe if you got a new idea. Um, also, let me know if you want to see more Notion content just like this one. And again, as always, thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, you know, all that good stuff. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you in my next video very soon. Bye!